Hey what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to have a look at a brand new pair of AirPods 2 clones. Now this is one of the latest versions that was very recently released on the market and this is going to be called the Danny V3e. It is called the V3e, very similar name to the V3m that revealed recently on the channel. This is because they both have similarities but because also this is using a different chipset and it has an additional feature that a lot of the clones most of the clones don't have on the market. Now, like always, I drop a link down in the description where you guys can check these out. These are gonna cost approximately $37, where the original is gonna cost at retail price $199. These are gonna be approximately one-fifth the original price. Not only that, they also are a very similar price than the V3M that costs about between $33 to $36 from many sellers. One thing that really surprised me was the shipping time. It took approximately nine days, including the weekends, to ship from China to Canada. So it was extremely quick it took less than two weeks which in average times it takes about two to four weeks to arrive but sometimes it could arrive as early as nine days to your country which is absolutely amazing as you can see it does come in a double box packaging like always to ensure that your product doesn't get confiscated or seized from the customs and as you open the lid of the packaging we can see that we have the original box with the apple logo taking this out we can see that we do have the box wrapped in the plastic, we do have the AirPods on the top of the box, which we can also feel the bump, just like the retail version. On the side, we are going to have the sticker with the serial number, and then we do have the Apple logo, the AirPods with the large charging case, and finally the other Apple logo. On the bottom of the box, once again, we do have a very similar design as the original ones with the AirPods and the Apple's writings on the bottom right. Now, when it comes to the specification of this product, it is going to have Bluetooth 5.2. Name change, remapping, GPS positioning using the Find My iPhone app. You will have the tap control, the air detection. Battery life is going to last up to 7 to 8 hours per charge. I have personally already used this product because I was so excited, so I already unboxed it. And I've tested it for a couple of days, and I've got to say that the battery for me personally lasted around 7 hours, which is absolutely amazing. It is approximately 40% better than the original version that lasts up to 5 hours per charge. This is of course going to have the audio sharing the live listening and of course hey siri like the other v3m the new feature that has been added to this product is going to be the icloud multi-device connect anyways let's check this out once again this is going to be the packaging i've already unwrapped the plastic but yours is going to be wrapped perfectly fine now uncovering the top of the lid of the box we are going to have the code bar right there and then we are going to have the user manual right here that says AirPods and showing you how to use the product. Once again, very similar to the originals. After that, we're going to have the case with the AirBuds inside. As you can see, it is wrapped in the plastic. Really easy to remove. Finally, in the box, we are going to have the charging cable, which will be lightning to USB-A. And I've got to say, it's been a while, but the charging cables from the clones do actually feel pretty high quality and they're usable. I have been using these cables to charge my phones, but also the earbuds. The charging cable is obviously not going to be as high quality as the originals, but once again, they do feel premium enough to be used. So here's the charging case. We can see that it has the same size and dimension as the original ones. We can also see that it does have the gray transparent LED diffuser on top of the case right there. The mold of the case has been really well designed with a cutout right there of the lid. On the back, we do have the metal hinge. This is the real metal hinge. It is not plastic with engravings that says Design Babylon, California, assembled in China. Other than that, we do have the pairing button in the back, which is flush to the case, just like the original version. And finally, at the bottom of the case, we do have the charging part. But once again, you can charge these wirelessly if you prefer. Opening up the lid, we're gonna see the earbuds inside the case. Once again, the same design as the original version. And here on the top of the lid, we do have the engravings with the serial number. And as you can see, it does have a very good reverse magnetic hinge, so you don't need to worry about the lid closing itself when you're taking out the earbuds of the case. Now, I just wanna quickly mention that this not only works on iOS devices, but also work on Android devices, such as Android phones, Android tablets, also works with PC computers computers on Windows. Since this is using the brand new Aroha 1562E chipset, it is going to allow you to modify the settings just like on iOS but on an Android device using the Flick app. 
here is going to be a closer look of the earbuds themselves we do have the microphones right there at the same position we do have some grills on top the air detections are going to be located on each side of the earbuds right there we do have the left and the right indicator and we do have the same stem with the same charging mechanism with a chrome ring and finally we are going to have the engravings on the bottom as for the speakers themselves we can see that we have both circles right there that has the same identical design so right now i'm going to show you guys the pop-up animation of the danny v3e on both iphones right here at the same time this is going to allow me to connect the airpods 2's clones um, simultaneously in between these two phones without forgetting the earbuds just like most of the airpods 2's the airpods 3's and the airpods pro clones uh, previously released and i just want to quickly mention that it doesn't need to be two iphones it could be either one iphone and then one ipad um, it's still going to work perfectly fine but i'm just going to show you guys on two iphones because it's going to be more simple just to show you guys that bluetooth is turned on and then what you're going to do is simply open up the lid and you're going to have the pop animation on both of these next thing you'll do is simply tap and connect at the same time and then hold the pairing button in the back of the case until it says connecting and of course you're going to see the white amber light and right there the gear pods is going to be connected to both iphones without any problems without any errors any issues and as you can tell we do have the real battery percentage of the airpods but also of the case if you scroll down um, the control center we can see that it is currently not connected to um, both iPhones as you can see the reason is because I will have to put these actually in my ears just like the originals so that they will connect to the actual phones since I'm not gonna wear them yet in my ears I'm gonna show you guys that you can actually connect both of these at the same time or switch simultaneously so as you can see we do have the airpods right there the first time you're going to connect since it is using the roha 1562 e chipset the name of the product might not actually call airpods sometimes it might be called airpods but a lot of the time um it is going to be called the cc ultra so as you can see on the iphone on the left which is the iphone 10 on the right side is going to be the iphone 10r tapping on the airpods as you can see they are connected without any issues we do have the airpods 2 logo so right now it's connected to this iphone the iphone 10 on the left side usually on let's say the v3m or any other airpods airpods 2s airpods pros and airpods 3s you're not able to connect this product on two devices at the same time but thanks to the aurora 1560 chipset clicking it right here as you can see it also connects to both iphones at the same time without any problems and if we do close the lid you're going to see that it is going to be disconnecting on both devices at the same time and just to show you guys in the bluetooth settings you can tap on the information and just like the originals you can change the name to whatever you want you can also change the double tap function to the specific setting that you prefer and finally you will have the air detection which you can turn it off if you don't like that feature so later in the video we're going to be playing music on both of these devices to see if it actually plays this music at the same time or if it actually simultaneously switches in between devices so right now i'm going to test out the sound quality i'm going to be listening some music on spotify to see how good the audio quality is going to be So yeah, the sound quality of the Danny V3e do sound really good. They have a lot of bass, just like very similar to the originals, but also to the V3m. Um, they have a lot of bass, great clarity, no muffleness as far as I've tested so far. And just to show you guys, the double tap function does work. If I tap twice, it is going to pause. Tap twice again, it is going to play the music. And then on the left side, if I tap twice, it's going to switch to an next song. Once again, switches to the other song. So yeah, pressure control and air detections does work perfectly fine, as you can see. This is going to be the microphone test of the Danny V3e. Once again, this is going to be a completely raw audio coming straight through the microphones itself. No editing, no post-processing. This is exactly how you're going to sound like whenever you make a phone call or whenever you're on a Zoom call. And I've got to say, the V3m, the V3e, um, some of the most premium AirPods 2s on the market right now do have amazing microphones that sound very similar to the original ones and very usable.
So right now I'm going to test out the iCloud multi-device connect feature. Uh, I'm going to be playing music on device number one, which is on the left. And then I'm going to go to device number two, play music on both of these back and forth simultaneously. And to see if the AirPods are going to be recognizing that and switching it between without playing the music at the same time or having any bugs. So right now I'm going to be playing music from Spotify and which is going to be played on the earbuds that I'm wearing right now in my ears. And then I'm going to be playing music on this iPhone, which should technically pause the Spotify app. So I'm going to start by playing music from Spotify. And I can actually hear the music coming from the earbuds. And right now I'm going to be playing from the Apple Music app. And then as you can see, it pauses Spotify and actually plays this song. And going back and forth. Now it's playing this song. Wait a minute. Switches back to Billie Eilish. So yeah, there's no issues at all. I don't see, I don't find, I don't feel any bugs yet. Very smooth switching in between devices, I've got to say. And just to quickly show you guys before I forget that we do have, once again, the battery percentage right there on the widget. We also have the AirPods 2 logos, like I said earlier in the video. You can also have share audio with the secondary device if you have a secondary device in hand. And finally, you can also have live listening. As you can see, simply tap on right here or right there. And as you can see, it's actually turned on. If I tap on my phone, as you can see, it actually works. Turn it off right there. And yeah, live listening, audio sharing, most of the features pretty much works identically like the original ones. So right now I'm gonna show you guys the Flick app support on the Android device. I'm currently running on Android 11. And as you can see, it is connected to my device right there. And of course I have a download link down in the description for you to download the Flick APK app on your Android device. So if you go into the Flick app, this is what's gonna show up. All you have to do is simply select device and then pick the device that it is the AirPods that you have. Mine is the CC Ultra, top right there. And then as you can see, it is connected and it's going to tell you the real battery percentage, once again, very accurately, the battery percentage of each earbuds right there, the left side, the right side, and of course, the charging case. Other than that, very similar on iOS, you'll be able to turn off the air detection if you don't plan to use that. You'll be able to switch the tap control. I just want to say, although this app shows that this Danny V3E has ANC in transparency mode, it is not going to actually work just for sure. And if you do want to Hey Siri function, you can turn it on right here, and then you'll have to reset the earbuds for it to work. Finally, on the EQ select settings, you'll be able to adjust the sound quality of these earbuds using these pre-adjusted EQs. So yeah guys, this is the Dany V3e, the latest AirPods 2 clones on the market that was very recently released. I highly recommend them. They have amazing sound quality, um, great audio, great microphone, but also amazing battery life. 40% better than originals, up to 7 to 8 hours per charge. And of course, you get an extra few charges, but the case. If you guys got any questions, make sure to comment down below in the description. Other than that, we'll have another AirPods 3 clones very soon on the channel that do also have the iCloud multi-device connect. And of course, it's going to have real spatial audio. You got two different AirPods 3 clones. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you did enjoy, make sure you give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, consider doing so. Turn on the notification bell to not miss any videos. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys very soon. Peace out.